Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Breeze. I'm going to show you the new NBA 2K16 tip. Today, guys, I'm going to be bringing you the best dunk animations in the game with a guide on how to pretty much dunk every time as long as you put yourself in the right position. I'm going to be showing you how to put yourself in the right position in this video to dunk pretty much at will. So, getting right into it, we're going to go right into the dunk animations. Now, I'm not going to be reading to you every single dunk animation I've equipped. Just make sure you're pausing the video and you're equipping all the dunk animations that you see I have equipped on the screen. Now what you're going to notice is a lot of these dunk animations really limit cockback animations. So there's only a couple cockback animations that could get you blocked throughout like all of these animations. I mean there's only a few and a lot of them are tomahawks that are either going to be straight arm tomahawks or tomahawks to the side. A lot of these are very good for posters and especially the quick drop packages. As you saw right there, I have quick drops off one equip. That is a major key to getting posters consistently. Now, as you can see, leaning slams I also have now. Leaning slams is also a very good dunk package. Baseline reverses, you just gotta have some reverses in your arsenal. It just adds more to your dunking repertoire. I mean, it allows you to pretty much dunk when you're going on the baseline not only straight up but also with a reverse so I mix it up pretty well these dunk animations but obviously the major focus was making sure that I didn't have a bunch of cockback animations that would get you blocked but I also had enough animations that are going to get you posters consistently now as you can see I did add athletic 360s there at the end that is not required I just kind of added that you know for some flash on the break but you can replace that with, you know, quick drops off two, uber athletic tomahawks off two, you know, maybe front windmills or side windmills. So you don't have to go with athletic 360s. I kind of just added that in there. But I kind of recommend going with front windmills or quick drops off two if you want a dunk package to replace that 360 package. Now, let's get into some gameplay here. And I got a few minutes of good gameplay, and I'm pretty much going to be breaking it down for you guys on when you want to go up for dunks and what you want to be looking for. So uh, as you can see right here, I'm going to freeze the screen, and you're going to notice that the defender is in the charge circle. Now, when the defender is in the charge circle, especially pretty deep in the charge circle, you can feel free to go for dunks pretty much every time and expect to actually get a dunk animation. So... You really want to make sure that you're looking for either nobody in the paint at all or if they're in the paint you want to make sure they're in the charge circle now there is some exceptions as you can see right here this guy is not in the charge circle but what i'm doing is i have my shot stick on absolute and while holding the right trigger r2 i pushed up on the right stick now that is how you can force dunk animations every now and then but as you can see right here the safest ways to make sure they're in the charge circle as you can see this guy is pretty deep in the charge circle and i go for a dunk and i'm gonna throw it down now notice how a lot of these aren't poster animations, they're just regular dunk animations and that's because when they're deep in the charge circle or really you know just in the charge circle in general, a lot of times the game will just give you a regular dunk instead of those poster animations that you're used to seeing. Like as you can see right here, that guy was out of position, he was pretty deep in the charge circle and my guy just threw it down as if he wasn't even there. Now if they're pretty high up in the charge circle or just outside the charge circle, that's when you're going to get the contact dunk animations, the poster animations that the posterizer badge will activate. Now, I am about to get posterizer. I think I'm a couple dunks away in career mode. It's pretty easy to get. I just really haven't been grinding for it because you don't really need posterizer. All you really need to look for is defenders out of position and you need to look for them in the charge circle once again. You know, I can't stress that enough. Now, there's two things you want to do when you're going for dunks. If you see that they're pretty high up or just outside the charter circle, push up on the right stick. This is going to give you a conservative two-hand dunk animation and a lot of times it's going to go for a poster or a two-handed slam. Now, if they're out of position and they're deep in the charge circle, so, you know, almost down by the baseline, you know, pretty far back. As you saw, I got a contact animation right there. Um, I just recommend pressing X. I mean, your dunk packages are good enough. You don't have to be conservative with pushing the right stick up. I recommend just hitting X or square if you're on PS4 while holding the right trigger and just getting whatever dunk animation the game gives you because, again, I made sure to give you guys dunk animations that will give you highly successful dunks and that are going to really limit 
how often you'll be blocked. I mean, as you saw right there, that's a contact dunk animation. And like I said, guys, with these dunk animations, you really don't have to worry about being blocked too often. Of course, you will get blocked from time to time. But nonetheless, you shouldn't get blocked around the rim very often. Now, one more final tip I can give you guys that's a major key is when to go up when you're driving to the basket. Now, really, there's not much to it. Just make sure you're going up pretty early. So when you actually hit the extra square button or up on the right stick to drive to the rim and dunk, make sure you're hitting it around the free throw line area. What this does is it activates the dunk animation early. So if they're out of position or deep in the charge circle, that's why you see me get a lot of these normal dunk animations. So with that being said, guys, this is Big Boy Breeze. I'm signing out. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please be sure to leave a like on the video and, of course, subscribe to the channel. Lots of fire tips, gameplay coming very soon. So once again, guys, I'm signing out. So hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.